Hey, in this video, I will show you how you can give your Windows desktop a fresh look by using a few tools. And at the end of the video, I will also show you how to uninstall them in case if something goes wrong. So make sure that you stick until the end for that part as well. And by the way, if you are interested in my current desktop wallpaper, make sure that you check out the first link in the video description. The first thing that we are going to change is the appearance of the Windows 11 taskbar. But as you may also right now know that in the version 23H2, the taskbar in Windows 11 got some new features which brought back Windows 10 memories. If you go here to the personalization and scroll down to the taskbar appearance and change here, combine taskbar buttons and hide labels. But we can also install another third party tool which is called Start All Back. So make sure that you open your web browser and on Google search for start all back or you can just pause the video and scroll down in the video description and click on the link. Let's search for the start all back. Click on the first link right here and down below make sure that you click on this blue download button and once you have the .exe file click on it and the installer should appear. Here I will select install for everyone click yes here on the administrator prompt and it should right now install this program for us. Now you should see some immediate changes in the Windows taskbar and also the first screen of the start all back program. Here you have three teams to apply proper 11, kind of 10 and remastered 7. So these all are inspired by Windows versions. So here I will select proper 11. Now let's go here to the taskbar and here make sure that you go to the combined taskbar buttons. Here I will select always. Then I will also check mark the centered task icons as well as the segments. Now here for the segments option here I will select just central segment and I will also enable the dynamic transparency. Now if you move on to the next option here which is tray icons I will leave this option as it is and also for the explorer and also the advanced settings. So all these settings will be as default only the changes I made is the taskbar changes so for the segments and also centered task icons as well as dynamic transparency and I think this is it for the taskbar. Now let's move on for the desktop widget. So let's open your web browser or as I said before just pause the video and click on the link in video description. Let's search for the rain meter. Click on this website make sure that you here click on this blue download button as well. Once the download is complete click on the .exe file and this should open the installer. Click next here, click install, and then you will click yes. Make sure that you leave checked here, run Raymeter, and click on the finish. Once this is done, we can go back to our web browser, and here make sure that you search for the Jax Core GitHub page. Then you will click on the first link, scroll down and select here releases, and down below click on .rm skin file. Once you have this file, click on it, and then you will click on the install button to install this rain meter skin. And once the installation is complete, you should see the screen which looks something like this. And then you will navigate here to the library and select here modular clocks, which currently isn't installed. So to install it, just click here on modular clocks and make sure that you on the top right click on this green download arrow. Once you have modular clocks widgets installed, you should see here the message installed and on the top left, make sure that you activate the skin as well. Now you will need to navigate here to the general and here I will select this style of the clock, which also has the weather information. Now let's go down below to the style options. Here you can, for example, change the alignment, change the widget size, change the clock font and so and so on. Here I will just change the widget size to let's say 1.5 and uh, this is pretty much it. Now I will close or minimize this window and make sure that you go here and place this widget somewhere like so and then right click on it, select here align and put it here to the horizontally centered. Now this will center the widget to the screen. Now let's again open this Jack score screen. Let's go here to the house on the top left Let's go to the library and let's install another widget which is called modular players. So this one you will need to repeat the process which is the same as before for the modular clocks. Just click on this green download arrow and the skin should install. 
Now, when this is done, you can also here on the top left activate this widget as well. And then you will navigate here to the general. And here I will select this style of the widget, which is called Windows 11. And now you will navigate to the style options. And here I will select the blur variant to the standard as well as the rounding. I will select here standard as well. Now for the background color, you will enter here, delete the zeros and enter three times 255 press enter now you can also go here to the widget scale and scale down the widget a bit because to my taste it's a bit too large so let's insert here 0.70 and press enter and now we will also align this widget to the bottom half of the screen so put it somewhere like so right click on it go here to the align and select here horizontally centered. And now this widget will show you which song or which media is playing on the Spotify or on your web browser. Now let's open the Firefox once again. Let's search here for the lively wallpaper and let's go here to this website. Here, make sure that you click on the download button and here you can also install this application from the Microsoft Store or as a standalone installer. Here, I will choose the standalone alone installer and meanwhile this is downloading we can go to the unsplash for the wallpaper itself so let's search for the unsplash here make sure that you navigate to the nature category of the wallpaper scroll down and find which one you like but for the purposes of this tutorial i will just pick this one right here here make sure that you click on the download free on the top right corner and then we can navigate here to the download menu and click on the .exe file for the lively wallpaper app now here i will select install for all users and here you will need to press yes click ok here click next click i accept the agreement click next next and here i will click next as well and then install and now you will need to restart your computer to use the lively wallpaper app so here i will click finish and restart my computer now after the quick reboot you can open the start menu and search for the lively wallpaper app and once this is done you should see the screen which looks something like this and now i will select this image as my current wallpaper now it should take a few seconds to load this wallpaper but if you want you can also customize it to your liking so this is why we before downloaded the separate image so let's click on the three dots right here click on the customize like so and uh, down below i will click on this icon to select your own image now you should be directed to your downloads folder like so and here i will select this uh, image as we previously downloaded from the unsplash.com click on open and now you can just play with the parameters like intensity speed brightness normal and zoom until it fits your taste and then you can just press ok now i will just turn off the parallax and uh, click ok but as of now you can also see that i have the white image for my wallpaper because i think this is actually a bug with the lively wallpaper application so to fix it i think that the bug is the actual resolution of the image so we will need to open the web browser navigate here to the image resizer and then you will select here your uh, preferred image click on open here and now i will uncheck the maintain aspect ratio and here i will select my own width and height pixels so in the case of this tutorial i will enter the numbers for the 4k resolution which is i believe 3840 by 2160 and now you will press enter and click here to resize the image. Once this is done, you can then click on this download button and then you will navigate back to the lively wallpaper app. Click on the three dots as before, click on the customize, click on this icon the same as before, and then you will click on this new image that you have just created. Click open and then you can click OK. And if it still doesn't work for you, you can just restart the Lively Wallpaper app by going into your system tray, right click on the app and then click on the exit and then you will open it back from the start menu. Now you should see this new wallpaper and I think this is it for this setup. Now in case if, if you get bored of this setup, I can also show you how you can remove every single thing that I 
just installed on this computer. So to do that, you can just go here to the Firefox and here when you have this maximized uh, taskbar, you can navigate to the system tray and then make sure that you go here to the rain meter and click right click on it and then you will click on the exit and then you will repeat the process for the lively wallpaper as well when these tasks have been killed you can navigate to the start menu once again go to the settings like so click on the apps here and then navigate to the installed apps. Here you will search for the lively wallpaper, click on the three dots and then uninstall, click on the uninstall, and then you will basically repeat the process for other applications like rain meter, as well as the start all back application. So this is it. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure that you drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel would also be much appreciated. And don't forget to check out the links in the video description. Have a nice rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.